One of the really interesting things about being at CES in Las Vegas is you get so many cultures in one place. We're at Caesars Palace right now and we're kind of getting a sense of how people with different cultural backgrounds are going to be able to communicate better thanks to a new update for Google Smart Displays. A new interpreter mode for devices like the Google Home Hub allow you to converse with people in up to 27 different languages. And I know what you're thinking. This has been a thing before. You could have done it with a phone, but that's a little in your face. You could have done it with Google Pixel Buds or other assistant-enabled Google headphones. And that gets to be a little tricky too because it really only works well for one person. The beauty of the experience on a smart display is that not only do you get to hear it and get everyone involved into the conversation, you get these really slick verbal translations on screen as well. So if there's any ambiguity as to what you're saying, that should clear it up, or that's the idea anyway. We tried it out with a few different languages. My colleague Shalene is very fond of Mandarin and my Mandarin is very bad, but she managed to have a pretty fruitful conversation with a concierge behind the desk here who spoke only English. Good evening, how may I assist you? Will your breakfast here be free? Are you a seven star member? What is a seven star member? I am not very expensive. <laughs> and despite Sherlin just being Sherlin, the conversation actually ran off really well. There were moments too where the concierge used casino specific language like total rewards when my colleague asked for a free breakfast because of course she did. And the home hub actually understood that hey, total rewards is a thing in this context, seven star is a thing too, let's render these in a way that makes sense given the flow of the conversation that's actually happening here. What's also really interesting is the fact that you don't have to do this just from one language into English. We actually got, and this is the craziest thing, we actually got a very brief, if somewhat stilted conversation going on between someone speaking German and someone speaking Mandarin. This is really, really important because this update is going to go live for just about all Google-powered smart displays and some smart speakers as well. And this is going to be around the world too. So you could be a small business owner in Berlin or Hong Kong and have one of these sitting on your desk and be able to engage in sales and in some cases just build relationships in a way that you really couldn't before. This is Google Assistant in a very open and public and kind of frank mode of operation that we're not really used to. And I honestly really have enjoyed watching this work. I wish I spoke more languages just so I could try this out, but I think it's pretty clear even now that even though Google Translate isn't perfect, it doesn't nail every nuance, having something like this in front of you gets the point across. It lets you bridge barriers. And that's kind of the whole point. That's why we're here at CES. So I'm really looking forward to throwing some more bad Mandarin at this thing just to see if I can talk to the guy behind the desk. But in the meantime, keep it locked on Engadget.com for more CES 2019 coverage.